What's going on everybody? John with Refinery Fragrances. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that is new on my radar. We're gonna be taking a look at Nouveau Monde by Louis Vuitton. Before we dive into the review, if you guys are interested in more fragrance related content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon for notifications for future videos. Okay, so Nouveau Monde was a fragrance released in 2018 by the company Louis Vuitton. Um, this is classified as an oriental fragrance. Uh, the perfumer is Jacques Cavalier, uh, which he is a uh, very well-known and accomplished perfumer. Uh, and the notes for this fragrance include agarwood or oud, uh, cocoa, saffron, patchouli, incense, and black currant. So I'll start by saying this is a, a very new fragrance to me. Um, I've been well aware of the Louis Vuitton line and everything that I've smelled from the line, I've been rather impressed by. I think they make really great, um, high quality and creative fragrances that are definitely going into the niche side of things. Um, they're not releasing fragrances that are uh, mainstream kind of designer, uh, Esque releases. They're very um, bold and many of them are long lasting and use high quality ingredients and um, just are kind of a little bit more out of the box. And I really appreciate that coming from a brand like Louis Vuitton. But recently I was uh, in a mall in Nashville. And uh, most of you know, if you've been to a mall recently, if during the pandemic, every store has a really long line. If it's, you know, Louis Vuitton or Gucci or any one of those big brands, it seems like there's always a line of 30 people uh, waiting to get in. And uh, my wife and I were going to the mall and just so happened to see that the line was not so long. So we're like, okay, we haven't been in the store in a very long time. Let's just wait in the line of four people and, and finally get in. Um, my objective, obviously I, lo I love Louis Vuitton as a brand. I think they make great clothes, uh, but they're just out of my price point. But the fragrances are a different story. They're not, you know, insanely priced, I don't think, for what you get. So went in, uh, sniffed a few things, uh, and I there's other ones that I love from the brand. Um, Ombre Nomad is a great one. La Sable Roses is maybe, maybe tied for my favorite from the brand. They, they just make really, really great fragrances. Um, so I went in and I there was quite a few that I'd never smelled before and uh, Novo Monde was one of them. Uh, when I got my nose on this, I was quite frankly blown away, uh, smelled it and just knew that I needed to have it in my collection right away. It reminded me of Ombre Nomad, but um, there was something a little bit more pungent uh, about this fragrance. Like I, I'd smelled it and I'm like, this is almost feels more intense than Ombre Nomad, which I found interesting because Ombre Nomad is more expensive. It comes in a darker bottle um, and higher price point, darker bottle to me. And I'm sure a lot of you in the fragrance community, like that is synonymous with just higher, uh, higher quality ingredients with the price tag and then maybe more intense performance in the darker bottle. That is not the case. Um, this fragrance is very, very pungent. Um, I'll talk about performance. Uh, I would say uh, yesterday I wore it and I woke up the next day and still was getting, it almost felt like it was still projecting off of my arm. Like it was not a skin scent, skin scent still. And that was at the 15, 16 hour mark. So this thing is an absolute animal when it comes to performance. So I'm gonna give myself a uh, quick spray just to kind of familiarize myself once again with the opening. Yeah, okay, so right off the bat, when you spray this, you get a big blast of cacao. I get some saffron in there. I do get patchouli. I get this really strong uh, leather accord in there. That's not listed in the note breakdown, but to me, leather is very prominent in this fragrance and it gives that kind of dry, leather vibe. This is a very, very dry fragrance. Um, not a whole lot going on uh, in terms of like juice. There's a black currant note in there, but it's not overly fruity. There's slight, slight fruity touches, but I feel like mainly what you're gonna get is oud, uh, patchouli, uh, a leather-like accord, 
and then just a light dusting of that cacao note in there. To me, the cacao note is very present in the opening um, and it's really beautiful and it's not overly sweet. There's just a slight hint of sweetness in this fragrance um, and it's just really pungent. <laughs> I cannot drive that point home enough. Um, I love beastly fragrances. A lot of you guys out there in the fragrance community, I, I tend to notice really love good performing fragrances. This is for you then. If you like that description, you should definitely give, uh, give this a go. Sample it, try it. Um, as it dries down, the patchouli does become a, a little bit more prominent. Um, the incense does kick in quite a bit, but this is not an overly, I, this is just really well blended. It's kind of hard to go, okay, here is the patchouli, here is the incense. It's just very smooth and dry um, and well blended. Um, Jacques Cavalier did an amazing job with this fragrance and uh, it's just very classy. Like some settings I could see this being worn in. Um, it gives off a very professional vibe, but I'm not sure I would wear it to the office because it is a little bit too in your face. It's very loud. Um, formal occasions, this is perfect for. Um, the fall and winter uh, seasons, the colder days, this is just gonna cut right through the cold air. Um, and it just gives off this very, uh, professional, mature, well put together kind of a vibe. All right, let's talk price point for Nouveau Mon. So this 100 ml bottle will run you 265. Uh, these fragrances are only carried in Louis Vuitton boutiques. Um, so they're pretty exclusive. And uh, right now I don't see them on any discount websites. Um, so you're probably gonna have to pay full retail unless you find one being sold or swapped. Uh, on a fragrance group on Facebook or online somewhere. Um, 265, I feel like is a good value here. Uh, the packaging is really great as I would expect from Louis Vuitton um, and all fragrances at this price point, frankly. Um, the performance is out of this world. This is one of the best performing fragrances in my collection. Um, and, uh, it's a unique scent, it, re it really is. There's nothing that I have that is remotely close to it. Um, so it's a really welcomed addition to my collection and I'm, I'm happy with that price point. Let's take a look at the presentation for Nouveau Monde. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys the full unboxing experience. Uh, like I said, Louis Vuitton's packaging is amazing, which I expect nothing less because of their price point. It's not cheap, my friends, it is not cheap, but it comes in this uh, very nice and high quality bag. There is the box there. You open it up, it comes in this cylindrical box. And then it pops off, look at that. That is really, really nice. And it looks like it would be very, uh, like a fingerprint magnet, but it's actually not. It's kind of almost like a, it's matte, but shiny. I've never actually seen that uh, before, especially not on fragrance packaging. And you open it up and it sits in there like that. And this cap almost looks like it would be like a cork cap, almost like a splash bottle, but it's not. It's a magnetic cap that reveals the sprayer there. And the sprayer is glorious on this, uh, on this bottle, it's really, really well done. There's the packaging for Nouveau Monde. Honestly, guys, I am thrilled with this fragrance. Um, as somebody who loves oud and perfume, this ticks that box. The performance is, like I said, it, it's crazy. Um, it lasts forever, um, which I want and expect at that price point. And uh, it's just, it's got something that is um, unique in my mind, and uh, it's not for everyone. I, I wanna warn you, it's not for everybody. Um, this has animalistic touches for sure. Um, it, it can be um, maybe a little bit cloying to some people and maybe a little bit aggressive uh, to some people, but for me, it is just a masterfully done fragrance and I am so happy that I came 
across it and can't, honestly can't believe that I have not spelled it before. Um, I see few reviews on YouTube. I know Sebastian um, from Smelling Great Fragrances did a review on this um, and there's a few others. Uh, this I feel like is way underrated, way, way underrated and I have got to recommend uh, this to you guys. If you're into kind of like rose oud combos, um, if you're into just beastly kind of animalistic type fragrances, you must give this a try. I, I have a feeling that you will uh, really, really love it. I certainly am. Um, yeah, and I'd encourage you to check it out. Those are my thoughts on Nouveau Man by Louis Vuitton. Um, let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this before? Uh, have you tried other fragrances from Louis Vuitton? And uh, I wanna know some of your favorites. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and as always guys, uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider hitting subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications, and we'll see you soon.